Let's consider what can happen when we're looking at a line and a plane in three-dimensional space in terms of whether or not they intersect and if so, how. And there are three possible cases. First, the line and the plane might intersect at a single point. Secondly, the line might lie on the plane. And third, the line might be parallel to the plane and thus never intersect it. And we'll have a look at examples to illustrate each of these cases in turn. So in our first example, let's look at determining whether the line given here by the scalar parametric equations x equals 2 plus t, y equals 3 minus t, z equals 1 plus 2t. Let's determine whether that intersects the plane x plus y plus 3z equals 4. And the first step is we can substitute the values for x, y and z in terms of t into the equation of the plane, which in this case will give us 2 plus t for x, plus 3 minus t for y, plus 3 lots of z, so 3 times 1 plus 2t is equal to 4 in this case. And expanding out those brackets, 2 plus t plus 3 minus t plus 3 plus 6t equals 4, which reduces down to give 8 plus 6t equal to 4. Hence, 6t is negative 4 when we subtract 8 from both sides, and t is therefore equal to negative 4 divided by 6, which cancels down to negative 2 thirds. So the fact that we have obtained a single number for t here shows that in fact there is a single point of intersection of the line and the plane, and we could then go on to calculate this. And to calculate the point of intersection, we would now substitute this value of t into our equations for x, y and z. So for instance, x was 2 plus t, which means x would be equal to 2 plus negative 2 thirds here, giving 4 thirds y was equal to 3 minus t, which will become 3 minus negative 2 thirds, giving 11 thirds. And z was 1 plus 2t, so that will become 1 plus 2 multiplied by negative 2 thirds, giving 1, in this case, minus 4 thirds, which will work out to be negative 1 third. So hence the line and the plane intersect at a single point in this case with coordinates 4 thirds, 11 thirds, negative 1 third. Now let's consider a second example. What happens in the case where we're looking at the following line and the following plane to see whether they intersect? And once again we would start by substituting the x, y and z values in terms of t into the equation of the plane so we can find what t is. So here it's 2x, so that'll be 2 lots of 1 minus 2t plus 1y, so 6 plus t minus 3z, so minus 3 lots of 1 minus t is equal to 5. And again we can just expand that to get 2 minus 4t plus 6 plus t minus 3 plus 3t equal to 5. And as we simplify this down, that simplifies to be 5 minus 4t plus 4t equals 5. So here the t's cancel, leaving us with a statement 5 equals 5. Now that is a true statement. 5 does indeed equal 5, so that means that that is true for all values of t. And what that means is that actually all the points on the line are also on the plane. In other words, in this case, it means the line actually lies on the plane. So that is the second case. If solving these equations, t disappears and you end up with the true statement, that means the line is actually on the plane. Final example now, let's see if uh, this line intersects the following plane. So once again, we'll start off by substituting in the values of x, y and z, which in this case, 2x will become 2 times 2 minus 2t plus y, so plus 6 plus t minus 3z, so minus 3 lots of 1 minus t is equal to 5. And in this case, that will become 4 minus 4t plus 6 plus t minus 3 plus 3t equals 5, which becomes 7 minus 4t plus 4t equal to 5, giving a strange statement. Again, t disappears and we're left with the untrue statement that 7 equals 5. And that is not true. And what that means is that there is no consistent solution for t for any points on the line.
And what that means in a case like that, when you end up with a contradictory statement like this, is the plane and the line never intersect. And hence what that actually means is that the line is in fact parallel to the plane and thus never meets it. So those are examples of the three cases and the general methods for looking at whether a line and a plane intersect.